Welcome back, everybody. If you remember from a previous show, I was having problems getting ore from the uh, killdozer into the tractor. Well, Robert took it upon himself to build me a loading dock. And damned if it didn't come out looking good. We can get the killdozer up on the top here. Uh, he's covered it with a piece of plywood on the top, which uh, makes it so that the killdozer doesn't tear up the dirt when we turn it. And... Uh, it uh, looks like it's going to work. Uh, we've got uh, the tractor bucket there. Let's get the killdozer up there and see what kind of alignment we we get. Yeah, that's uh, that looks looks good. I'm happy with it. Thank you, Robert. And after a good day of work, what do you need? Snow. What else? So, yeah, it snowed up here. And, uh, and then it rained. Washed the snow away. And then it snowed again. Imagine that. California weather for you. That one then it rained, washed the snow away, and washed this car into a ditch. He's having a bad day. <laughs> then it rained some more. Of course this didn't all happen in one day. It was uh, over a week. But uh, yeah, we got some rocks that washed down off the hill. So let's see if I can sneak up on it and scare it get it to run off the road. And no, it's not moving. So I had to pick it up and throw it off the road. So in the meantime, I've been uh, working on the equipment, grease this guy up. This is a impact mill. Yeah, it looks like fun to stick your hand in there. Here's my flail mill. Uh, I got the chains removed because, uh, well, they're kind of worn. This one here is about ready to go. And the other one is gone. It's completely missing that center link there. And you see this one here, it's worn through on the corner, just about ready to let go. So I figured I'd better change them before I grenade the whole machine. Oh look at that, it's springtime. There's snow on the road. Wow, I'm gonna need a snorkel to get to my gate today. Damn it. Alright, well driving up the road we got some nice snow and it got deeper as I went up and here's where I actually drove into a ditch or slid into a ditch uh, backing up I put one of the rear wheels over this berm and got stuck. Not four wheel drive. But this guy is, this is Billy the Wonder Tractor. So I had to walk up and get him. Now on the way back down to pull out my truck, I noticed my footprints. Nobody told me that I freaking walk like a duck. Thanks. Oh well, maybe I'll get some corrective shoes. So we got the truck up to the camp and uh, that pretty much ended that fiasco. Next project was to do something about my internet speed. 0.18 megabits per second with a ping time of 800 milliseconds sucks. I'm not going to tell you who the provider is, but uh, that sucks. So I bought myself one of these, a Starlink. Let's open it up and see what we get for our money. Yeah, here's the panel. And here's the uh, instructions written in universal non-language. It's a pictograph. Oh well, I think I'll be able to follow it. And here's the parts. We've got our router in here. Got some plugs on the back. That's good. We've got our power supply. That looks like it's going to pull some juice. And we got our cables. Well, let's set this up and see what we get. Alright, I set it up outside, sitting right next to the panel, or right next to the router panels uh, about 50 feet away over here on this table and uh, we're actually getting some pretty good response out of this 160 megabits per second at 160 millisecond ping time and uh, we're not getting any dropouts like we were with the uh, other system however the Starlink system uses up to 100 watts of power so I'm going to uh, reappropriate these uh, panels and put them somewhere where I can collect some light and put it down into my storage battery. Here's the uh, area where the solar panels used to be. It's a nice big bald spot now. Should easily be seen from the air. And I think that's what this guy's doing is flying over and spying on us. 
Actually, they're doing test runs for forest fires. It's just a practice run. Oh yeah, and since it hasn't rained or snowed in the past few days, we're getting this crap out here again. Getting these damn rattlesnakes. But, uh, yeah, we take care of them. Yep, sorry, that's all I got for you for this round. I uh, really don't have much going on because of the weather. And, uh... I lost one of my good friends just recently, so I eh, just really haven't been feeling up to doing anything. Anyhow, have a good one. See ya!